Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome to a smart investor channel. So today guys, I'm going to share with you my analysis on a battery technology industry leader that has massive upside potential, especially right now in the current context of aggressive volatility. And the stock is Romeo Power Technology with ticker symbol RMO. So this was a SPAC just a few weeks back and has since then fully merged. It has been beaten recently and I'm here to tell you why I think this is a great investment that can 2x your money in the short run. So now for those new to the channel, I'm a corporate professional stock investor, real estate investor, and a passionate PC gamer. I now also do YouTube videos to share my knowledge and passion with like minds like yourselves. So that being said, please smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to not miss any of my videos. Guys, I truly appreciate it and thank you for taking that time to hit that like button. It shares with everybody else. So now let's get right to it. Alright guys, so about the company's profile. Look at this. So leader in battery technology in terms of hardware software and thermal management so they are actually specialized in the large commercial vehicles so very important guys this is a huge industry but it's not about the cars that you and i drive this is more about the trucks vans delivery commercial so this is very important to distinguish right this competes to let's say hylian jik and so on and so forth it's a world-class partnerships and strategic players which i'll show you shortly and what i like to is fully produce in north america this is very key guys because as you know there's a lot of competitors some are in china as well and because of the tensions we currently have with china not so good right so i really like the fact that this is definitely made more here locally now in terms of clientele guys look at this blue chip customer base agility auto car bmw borg warner which is huge nicola and we also have a few names we know here lighting systems which is also a spec we know john deere and so on and so forth so i really like this it means this guy already in contracts and i'm going to show you the financials of course because that's a key element for me personally when i invest and i'll show you that shortly all right guys so as a summary i like this look at this they were founded in 2016 by leaders from tesla spacex amazon apple and samsung very robust management team right here i like that more than 100 employees and 16 engineers dedicated to the battery development and by 2023 look at this projections in financials revenues is 765 millions by 2025 1.6 billion dollars guys and they will have revenues this year so that's something comfortable because i'll show you shortly that means that compared to other people like, let's say like Halion, they won't have revenues before a few years. So this is good. It's reassuring as an investor. We're not speculating only, right? So very key here. Their technology is patented. So that's always very important and key to see. So we spoke earlier about strategic partnerships they had. So look at this, Borgwarner, Heritage, and some other key partnerships, Samsung, Texas Instrument, and LG. So this is very cool. By the way, in Borgwarner, they have an exclusive partnership, which Borgwarner will pay royalties to Romeo Power Technologies. So I'll, we'll look at this shortly in the financial as well but i like this because that means the distribution and visibility marketing will be very very positive for romeo all right guys look at this i really love it they had signed contracts with more than 310 millions in revenue with nicola lighting e systems and phoenix and green power so i love this guys because as opposed to other specs that we're throwing our money in other companies don't have any signed contracts they have leads they they speculate that they'll have you know billions of dollars in revenues by 2025 but let's face it they have zero in the pipeline right now sign contracts for this year as opposed to these guys they already will have so by 2022 they expect like i said 412 million dollars and by 2025 1.6 billion dollars so i like to see this very nice growth all right guys look at this the market opportunity here that we can increase revenues and the whole market itself worldwide is 660 billion dollars guys that's the equivalent of 17 million vehicles sold annually that's humongous guys and just in North America and Europe, they calculate as it is equivalent to $225 billion. So that's one third of the whole global thing. And that's for class one to eight here in terms of commercial vehicles, which they're specialized in. So I love it, guys. Tons of money to be made here. All right. So finally, for the financial projections. So we've already seen here the projections in terms of revenues for this year. They actually calculate $140 million, which I'm happy to see because, you know, they're going to at least have something as opposed to other specs. And last year, they're expecting to finish at $11 million. Okay, their gross profit will be negative until 2022, and from there it's going to be positive and all the way, let's say, to a half of a billion dollars by 2025. In terms of their EBITDA, it won't be positive until 2023, and on 2025, they're expecting to have slightly more than one third of a billion dollars. So that's very nice to see as well. This is the royalties I was talking about. Okay, so this is definitely from the partnership, and this you know won't be substantial, but nonetheless, it's still an income here. So very, very interesting. So let's move on now to the charts. So the technical analysis of 
Romero Power with ticker symbol RMO. Currently sitting at $17.70. They've been on the red days a couple of weeks now. And this is good because it's allowing you and I as an investor to take the dip and buy when people are fearful. So guys, I want to bring your attention to the 50-week range. $9.98 to $32, almost $33, guys. So this is almost double X from the point right now. And Friday, it actually even dipped below $17. So that was beautiful, beautiful, guys. If you guys grasp that, congratulations, because I know I did. I was waiting for this great opportunity because I really am interested as an investor by this company. So I've been very patient on this. Okay, so let's look more now at the charts. All right, guys, so look at these beautiful charts. Back in November, they were $10 right here. And since then, they've gone up, down on a trend, up, down here, sold off, and then boom, big here, uptrend all the way to $38. Look at this. Yeah, $38 right here. And immediately that was a resistance level. Boom, sold off all the way down to $18 right here. And since then, by the way, that's been a strong support level. As you can see, definitely this is a big sell off. $18 went up, sold off. Look at this. Boom, second support here and went up. Since then, it's been trying to consolidate here. It had a small uptrend here, but definitely it sold off right again and then look at this boom again $18 was validated so that's been three times guys in the last couple of weeks so that's very very good to see the issue here is that it did exactly the same thing it hit a lower high here which is not good for us and then it sold off below $18 because we're now at the $17 as you can see here and trending towards the $16 and below so this is not good and what's not helping is because of the whole volatility in the markets as you know the whole thing with GameStop and AMC which I have a video on that by the way and i'll leave the link below then definitely you should be on the lookout because all the good stocks will be on sell-off like apple you've seen a lot of those things just going downtrend drastically also a, a stock that i really love amd by the way guys it's on sell-off it's a great price to buy in personally speaking this is not a financial advice so that being said let's look closer here at the support levels okay so definitely like i said 18 dollars right here was a great support level okay so now it's below that so it's even better for us as an investors now, the next level of support that we definitely should be on the lookout is right here, $16.23. Okay, guys, this is definitely my first and best position to enter, okay, for the stock. There's also the warrants, which I personally purchased, by the way, because, guys, they were very nice. They were juicy. They fell below $6, the warrants. I bought 300 of those because it's just, I know this stock will boom again once all this volatility is done. And if it goes even below $5, I'll buy just a lot more of those shares because I'm going to do a lot of money once it goes on an uptrend and it will because it has strong fundamentals okay we can't forget guys we evaluate companies based on the fundamentals not only on the emotions sentiments of people yes there's been a hype there's been FOMO but they're still going to continue to be because of Biden thing but even if there wasn't that the fundamentals are strong or good financials are good the projections are good the proprietary of the technology and battery is in the good industry to hype so I'm very confident about this one okay so that's the first support level definitely to be watched out if it falls below that i expect this to go to 15 dollars and you know flirt with below 15 dollars but definitely i feel this will get rejected and immediately bounce back okay so that those are my two buying zones definitely anywhere you know below 18 dollars is also a good buy if you want to look into the warrants i really really suggest you do okay that being said i don't expect this going to the next level but if it does it's going to be 13 dollars and below i don't think it's going to go there but if it goes it's a no-brainer for me personally i'm just gonna you know i'm just i'm gonna have to sell some stuff there uh, whatever that is you know my dog or whatever just to actually purchase these things okay so that's the four support levels in terms of resistance level we need to be watching here at $19.50 right here that's going to be a strong strong resistance level we need to break this followed by $22 followed by $23.50 and then $25.30 okay once we do get that guys we're going to be out of the woods in terms of just hitting lower lows and lower highs so this is really key especially this one right here if we break this one and we can't consolidate above here then we're just gonna go in and and have the momentum to break the $30 level followed by $33 right here and followed by the all-time size at $38 guys okay and I do see and and do think that the potential is there to actually break all these levels okay at short term in the next couple of months definitely to keep on your watch list okay so in terms of my thoughts and analysis those are let me know what do you think in the comments below are you already an investor here do you think that this stock is going to continue to get beaten and are you buying the stock and are you buying the warrants okay leave the comments below guys and please smash that like button subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell it really helps out guys and i tremendously thank you i'm gonna do 
tons of updates. I think there's going to be a lot of discounts in the market because of the volatility. So make sure to not only support the movement, because I'm a great supporter of the movement of GameSpot and all everything that it means. And look at my video link below. But I'm also a supporter of making money, right? So I'm going to be buying all these dips here throughout the volatility. So now that being said, have an amazing weekend and I'll see you next time. Peace out.